First we give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who is head of our life. He is our everything. <clears throat> he knows all things. And he let us to know we belong to him. And as we belong to him, then there's some things that we have to suffer through because our straight forward and we can't give up on God's way. We have to trust God and not man. Uh, mankind will love you if you go along with their ways. But as a believer, you got to take a stand for the Lord. And if you have to take a stand for the Lord, you'll find out that you got to have to suffer. And a lot of people don't love you for that. Sometimes even your own peoples, your own family, sometimes will walk away from you because you stick with the truth. And the truth is the only thing that can set you free. He is able to do what no other power can do. First of all, let us bow our head in the word of prayer. Our Father, Father in heaven, it's another day. It's another chance, it's another opportunity that you have given us as we live, move, and have our being to be about your business. I stop by to say thank you. I thank you, Lord, for your grace, and I thank you for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for how you have took us through many things. We can say through many dangers, tolls, and snares. We have already come, but it was your grace. It was your grace that brought us every step of the way. So we lean in and depending upon you. Now, Lord, you bless us, and we know we shall be blessed, touched, and we shall be touched. And we're going to give you all the honor and the praise. For in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. God bless you. We want you to look at the book of Hebrew, the twelfth chapter of Hebrew, first through the corner ninth verse. And our subject is true love bring forth chasing. Whom God love, he chases. And we have to go through a great deal. Most time we think if we live close to the Lord, that he will not chase us, but whom he loves, he chases. Amen. He chases everyone that he receives, everyone that would believe in the finished work. Amen. We have to go through with some things. Amen. All you have to do is read the Bible. Read the Bible uh, to Genesis, to Revelation. And every one that trusted the Lord had to suffer for his name's sake. And uh, it seemed like people ought to love you, but they don't care nothing for you if you take a stand for the Lord. So we can't get by without chasing. The Bible tells us everyone that love God will suffer for his name's sake. Amen. That's what the Bible tells us. Amen. And this is what this quip chapter is talking about. It is talking about the chasing of the Lord. The thing that Look like you ought not to have to suffer, but you have to suffer because people don't care nothing for you when you love God. How you know that I can? Let us go to the book. Let's look at the quilt chapter of Hebrew, the uh, first verse, and it, it dealing with. The chasing of the Lord. Amen. And all you have to do is go in 
in the Old Testament scriptures and read it, you see what kind of danger those who trusted God, how people would look down on them and not have no love for them and love others much more than they will one who has said yes to Jesus. Let's look at the chapter in the first verse. When I fall, seeing we also have compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses, a great crowd of witnesses out of the Old Testament scripture, tell us, amen, how God people were suffering and people did not have any love for them at all. And sister and brother, that goes all the way through the Bible. He said, let us lay aside every weight and sin which does so easy to beset us and let us run the race with patience that is set before us. We have a race to run. And sister and brothers, we have to take a stand. Amen. If you line up with people wrongdoing, they act like they will love you. But if you line up with God way of doing things, people don't care a thing for you. It's in the book. Amen. And we have to be careful. Are you saved? Are you saved? Then, amen. Look for these things. They're going to come. Let's go to this second verse. Looking into Jesus Christ, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Jesus endured uh, chasing. He endured the, uh, more than anybody. And he did it because of one word that was love. He loved us when we wasn't lovable. Let me go back over this verse again, this second verse. Look into the Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, amen, endured the cross, despising the shame. Amen. This is talking about Jesus. Amen. And it sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He went through. And Jesus has suffered. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. You will see peoples don't have nothing to do with you. You have to sometimes go by yourself sometimes. But God is with you. Because he promised, I'll never leave you. Neither I forsake you, but I'll be with you even until the end of the world. And we move on down to the third verse. For consider him. Talking about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. Amen. They will come against you. Amen. At uh, least ye be weary and faint in your mind. Our oh, sister and brother Jesus had to go through with something because, as we already said, because of love. And he loved the whole entire world. And they didn't have anything for him to do. So what we have to expect. We have to expect the same Thing. The, the same thing that uh, people just don't love you when you take a stand for the Lord. The Bible tells us, as we look at this full verse, ye have not yet resist into blood, strive, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exaltation, amen, which speak into you and into children. 
faith men, those who have made Jesus their choice. Amen. All people want to do is to let you come and do it their way. But their way, sister and brother, if it ain't lining up with God's word, uh, you don't get too far up the road with it. Because that ain't God's way or doing things. Amen. He told us about speaking into you and into church. He said, my son, despise not the chasing of the Lord. Amen. The Lord chases whom he loves, sister and brother, according to his scripture. This is in the book. Amen. And sister and brother, if it's in the book, then don't try to go another route. When God had left it on record. Amen. Bible tell us, Amen. Lord, and not faint when thou art rebuked of him. Amen. For whom the Lord loveth, he chases. Amen. In order for us to receive what he have in store for us, there must be some chasing. Amen. And scourging every son whom he received. He prepares. He prepares. Amen. For uh, love. That we may be able to uh, grow in the grace of God. And scourge. This is what the Lord has done. Scourge every son whom he received. How many will get by without chasing, according to the scriptures? He said, everyone, amen. And if he is not chasing you, then amen, uh, you don't belong to him. You ain't no child of God if you're not chased, being chased. If he go, I'm talking about he chasing. If you endure chasing, the Bible tell us, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this out of the Bible. Amen. God deal with you as with sons. Amen. For what son is he whom the father chases not? He chases everyone who said yes to Jesus Christ. You can't go along with the crowd. Amen. You the new creation. And you got to go through with some things. Amen. And this is in the book. This is in God's word. As we move on down to this eighth verse. But if ye, amen, but if ye be without chastisement. Amen. Some of the, I, I don't go through with nothing. Amen. He said, but if you, ye be without chastisement. Where we all a partaker. Amen. When you try to duck it, fall in line with the group out here in the world. Amen. The Bible said, then you are bastard. That means you don't belong to the Lord. Lining up with the world. Lining up with things, amen, that not containing into godliness. It's not God program at all. Amen. You're a bastard and not soon. That means, amen, you don't know who Jesus is. So what that tells us, we need to examine somebody. Who is it that we are to examine? Our own self. Amen. What mankind want to do? Examine somebody else. You got to examine yourself. Amen. The Bible tells us as we move on down to this ninth verse. Moreover, we have had fathers of our flesh. Amen. This is talking about the natural man and the children. Amen. Father of the flesh, which corrected us. This when we was growing up. Amen. And we gave 
them reverent. We respected them, sister and brother. Then the Bible said, Amen. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirit and live? Amen. We obeyed our parents. Now, to obey him is much greater than obeying our parents, sister and brother, because he is the Lord of all. Amen. And he wants us to grow in the grace of God. And, uh, and, and people want you to take down. Take down. Amen. Uh, but you got to go on in spite of. Even if you have to go by yourself. And sometimes you just what you find yourself. You should find yourself all alone. The Bible tells us every move on down to this 10th verse, for they very for a few days chases us, talking about our parents, amen, after their own pledge, amen, but he for our prophet, amen. There's some things that we have to go through with, sister and brother, and people don't love the Lord enough to go through with the way he going to chasing us, that we might be partaker of his holiness. Amen. We have to seek to get close to the Lord that we may receive what he have in store for us. His holiness, our sister and brother. <clears throat> Amen. Now telling us about chasing, it, it's not a good feeling. Amen. It's not a good feeling. When, when you have to go through with these things, how you know this, this Nate verse verify that fact. Amen. Now, no chasing for the present seem to be joyful. It isn't a joyful thing. Amen. But grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yields a piece of fruit. Amen. A righteousness into them which is exercised thereby. Them that want to do it God's way. If you do it God's way, God gonna bless you. And I tell you, amen, when he'll bless you. He'll bless you every time you be obedient unto him. Amen. You got to uh, lean on him. The Bible tell us every move on down to this square verse here. Wherefore, talking about those who is going through. Amen. <clears throat> because of the thing that he have to face down here in this world. Amen. Wherefore, lift up the hand which uh, hung down and the sea wouldn't knees. Amen. And make straight path for your feet. Least to which, amen, that which is lame be turned out of the way. But let it rather be healed. We, people don't love you, uh, sister and brother, because of who you follow. Amen. When you follow Jesus, amen, and he going with you every step of the way. And so many times you have to you have to walk alone because you you seem to be nothing in the sight of man. Amen. The Bible tells us every move on down to this 14th verse, follow peace with all men. Amen. Don't have no picks. Amen. He said all men. Follow peace with all men and holiness with doubt, which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. Tell us how we supposed to live in this world in which we now live, sister and brothers. Amen. It tells us every look on this 15th verse, looking diligent, least any 
man fail, amen, of the grace of God, least any root of bitterness sprang up, trouble you, amen, and therefore many be defiled. Amen. If you follow, amen, the wrong path, sisters and brothers, there are consequences down the road. He let us to know, amen, the 16th verse, least there be any fornicator, amen, profane person as Esau, amen, who for one mother, amen, a meal, sold his birthright, amen. We don't want to fall in that kind of category as a believer, sister and brothers. We want to do things God's way. God's way is the right way. Amen. And as, as I first stated, don't you think that people love you if you take a stand for the Lord? Oh, I, I, I don't care how much, amen, they say they love you, amen, and if they don't have that God pay love, it's not love at all. Amen. So you have to go through with what God has told us we have to go through with. 17th verse. For ye know how that afterward, to my Esau now, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Amen. For he found no place of repentance. Amen. Through he, though he sought it carefully with tears. Amen. We have to do this thing whose way? You have to do it God's way, sister and brothers. And you don't take down. Amen. The Bible tells us, uh, For ye are not come into the mount that might be touched. And uh, burn with fire, amen, not with blackness and darkness and temper. This is in the Old Testament scripture what this is talking about, sisters and brothers. Amen. 19th verse. And the sound of the trumpet and the voice of the word with voice that they heard, Old Testament, amen, entreated that the Word should not be spoken to them any more. Old Testament scripture, sister and brother. He tell us, amen, as we look at this quoted verse here, for they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so, much as the beast touched the mountain, Amen. It shall be stoned. The thirst, amen, through with a dog. Old Testament telling us, amen, back there in Moses' days. The Bible tells us, amen, and so terrible was the sight that Moses, amen, said, I exceedingly feel and quake. Amen. Do it God's way, and the Lord will bless you. He will bless you, sister and brother, every time. But you can't take down. You can't take down for mom. You can't take down for dad. You can't take down for sister and brother. But you got to take a stand for the Lord. Amen. And you want your people to take a stand. Amen. You don't want to see them going down and you know they're going down the wrong road and then you know I'm saying nothing to them. And they get mad when you when you say the thing to them. What a commentary. It it hurtful, but you the love that you have, you got to speak up. When you speak the truth, somebody won't love you for it. But ye the twenty second verse. But ye are coming to the Mount Zion, amen, and into the city of the living God, 
the heavenly Jerusalem, amen, and to an immutable country, comfort, amen, of angels, amen. As, the, as we talking, we are talking about out of the Old Testament scriptures, amen, to the general symbol, amen, and the church of the firstborn, amen, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirit of just men made perfect. When you put your confidence in the Lord, amen, and not moved by every wind and every doctrine come by, sisters and brothers, uh, you're going to be hated. You're going to be hated because of the stand that you take. And amen, they act like they love you if you would just line up with them. And that's what you people want you to do. But you can't line up. You got to take a stand for the Lord. You take a stand for Him and He's going to take you all the way. The Bible tells us as we look at this 24th verse, again, this is dealing with the Old Testament Scripture. Amen. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Talking about in our time and now, sisters and brothers. Amen and to the blood of sprinkling, amen, and speaking better thing that, uh, than that of aid. Amen, sister brother, talk about the time now in which we live now. Talk about the age of the church, this new covenant, sister and brother. See that ye refuse not him that speak, for if they escape not, amen, whom refuse him that speak on earth, much more, amen, shall not we escape. If we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. When you turn away from God, the one who speak from heaven, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Sister and brothers, amen. The Bible tell us, amen, amen. Uh, the 27, 6 verse, I think I'm right, 26, amen. Whom voice then shook the earth, amen. That was in the Old Testament scripture name, going back to that, sister and brother, amen. But now, he had promised, saying, Yet once more, I speak not, amen, not the earth only, but also heaven. He going to shake the heaven, sister and brother. He going to shake the earth, and he saying he going to shake the heaven. Amen. The Bible tell us, as we move on down to this 27th verse, and this word, yet once more signified, amen, the removing of things, amen, that are shaken, and the things that are made, that these things which cannot be shaken may remain. Amen. There are certain things, sister and brother, can't be shaken. It's God's word. Mm -hmm. Amen. It stood fast. Amen. And the Lord wants us to stick with it. Stay with truth. Amen. Don't lean to things that you know. Amen. Don't have no spiritual value in it. Amen. Lean on Jesus. And he'll make a way for you. He'll be there for you. Wherefore, amen, we receive a kingdom. Talk about those, amen, who would accept Jesus Christ for their person to say, we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved. Amen. 
Amen. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptable. Amen. With reverent and godly fear. Amen. According to the scripture. And God's word is right. We can put all our faith and our confidence in him. Amen. For our God, talking about God now, is a consuming fire. Amen. He's a consuming fire in everyone who is trying to stay away from God and not concerned about his word. Sister and brother, that consuming fire. Amen. Gonna burn, but it won't burn them up. Amen. The Bible tell us every going down, amen, to the 13th uh, chapter here. Let brotherly love continue. Amen. Amen. As a believer, brotherly love together. Together we stand. Divide and we'll fall. Amen. The Bible tell us, be not forgetful. Amen. To in, in, entertain strangers, for thereby soon have entertained angels unaware. They are, amen. Speaking to angels unaware that did not know who they were talking to. Amen, sisters and brothers. Amen. As we look at this third verse here, amen. Remember them that are in bonds, amen, as born with them, and them which suffer adversity, amen, as being yourself also in the body, amen. Sister and brother, if you do this thing God's way, God will make a way for you, but it have to be God's way. The Bible tell us, amen, now he going back talking about mankind, husband and wife now he talking about, he's talking about the marriage, those who have come together. He said marriage is honorable. Amen, sister and brother, those who have have husband and wife, amen, this marriage is honorable in all, and the bed is undefiled, amen, they talk about the bed, amen, the husband and wife, amen, the bed is undefiled, but now it tell us different about this oven who is going through with uh, Latin marriage, but homeowners, I'm getting this out in the, the Bible. Homeowners and adultery, God will judge. Amen. Well, I can get by. They didn't see me. Amen. You don't get by God. Amen. You don't get by. It's going to come. Amen. God tell us this. He tell us, amen. Let your conversation be without covenant and be content with such thing as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, Amen, as one who has made Jesus their choice. Amen. The Lord is my helper. Amen. Sister and brother, this is what I have to depend on. Amen. I don't have anything else I can depend on. I can depend on him. The Lord is my helper. And I can't do much just put all my faith and my confidence in him. He went on and said, And I will not fear that man shall do unto me. Let me go back over this again. Amen. I'm going all the way back to this sixth verse. Amen. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Man won't love you. 
Amen. Amen. They won't love you, sister and brother. Amen. They got another route. Amen. Amen. And that's not God at all. Remember them which have the rule over you. Amen. Telling us how we supposed to operate as a believer. Those who had the rule over us, sister and brother. Amen. Who has spoken into you the word of God. One who has spoke the word of God to you. Amen. Whom faith follows. Consider the end of their conversation. God is good and the mercy endures forever. The Bible tells us, amen. This is the last verse I guess that I would go to. This eighth verse. Jesus Christ the same yesterday. Amen. And today and forever. Oh, you can put all your faith and confidence in him. That way your hope lies. Amen. This world don't have nothing for us, sister and brother. Amen. I can't get another one. Just think I can get one more here. Amen. Be not carried away with the divers. Amen. And strange doctrine. Amen. Somebody that using God's word, but they're using it out in the content. Amen. For it is a good thing that the heart be established. Amen. How is the heart to be established? With grace, not with meat, not with food, where they're saying, Amen, which have not profit them. Amen. That have been occupied therein. Amen. If you do it God's way, God will bless you. Amen. And I hope today that we have received something out of God's Word. Amen. The Word of God will stand. If you stand for God, guess what? He will stand for you. He the author and the finish of our faith. Amen. And He is able to do what no other power can do in the thing that we have to face. He let us to know you ain't got to walk through here on the fly bread of Eve. And people won't love you. They won't love you for your stand. Amen. Why did they kill Jesus? Why did they kill Paul? Amen. Because he wouldn't take down. Amen. After he accepted Jesus Christ talking about Paul, he wouldn't take down. And they killed him because of his stood faceness. And that's what we have to do. And if I know my heart, if I know anything about me, I must stand for the Lord. Because if I stand for the Lord, he will stand for me. I can't help but saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't clock on the wall. Don't clock on the wall. And then that can know. Time for me to get out of here. But if you is enjoying this radio program, will you write me a letter sometime? Walter Atkins Jr., Post Office Box 1142, Tarver, North Carolina. This is Walter Atkins Jr. saying, Amen. And a me.